Why ex-SEC official John Reed Stark is wrong about crypto public blockchains still have promised to help solve the world's most intractable problems, even if they haven't yet. By Miller Whitehouse Levine Feb 2, 2023 at 4.50 p.m. UTC updated February 2, 2023 at 4.54 p.m. UTC by Miller Whitehouse Levine Feb 2, 2023 at 4.50 p.m. UTC updated February 2, 2023 at 4.54 p.m. UTC join the most important conversation in crypto and Web3 taking place in Austin, Texas. April the 26th to the 28th. Secure your seat. Join the most important conversation in crypto and Web3 taking place in Austin, Texas. April the 26th to the 28th. Secure your seat. In earlier eras, town criers would announce the latest news, a royal decree, or warn the population of some threat. These figures were especially important at times of low literacy rates in society, where they could transmit, through common spoken language, the most vital announcements. Something analogous exists today with social media replacing the public square, allowing any digital citizen to warn the netizens of this opportunity or that calamity. Our world has become considerably more complicated and technologically complex, and we now rely on modern town criers to help us understand a world filled with competing opinions. Miller Whitehouse Levine has overall strategic and operational responsibility for the execution of the DeFi Education Fund's mission and goals. Crypto is no different, and a recent deep dive Twitter thread by former Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, official John Reed Stark fits the pattern. His recent thread reviewing the design language of the crypto Ponzi scheme is a good example of thoughtful criticism focused on how follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.